shapes and lines in VizMe, you can visualize different elements and also you can improve the design. Here's an example. There's an iPad here and there's a few lines and also icons and shapes that are forming this uh, design. So I'm going to show you how this works. So here's the actual slide that's done and I'm going to go ahead to another design and I'm going to show you how uh, we can achieve a similar look. So there's an image here and there's some content on the right and what I want to achieve is to uh, have a couple indicators that are coming from this iPad and forming um, a visual that's a representative of something. So let's just assume for example that this is going to be a for an iPad case and we're going to be indicating that it's weatherproof and let's say that in terms of uh, there's protection against the padding and that it is a simple fit or a simple grab. So in this design we don't have these objects. Here's how we do that. In VisMe on the left panel you have the shapes pan icons and in the shapes you can pretty much search for anything. There's over 6,000 and the list is growing. All vector shapes fully customizable. So in this case I'm going to go to lines and the line objects are pretty interesting because you can actually customize the width and the color and the formatting. So let's go ahead and grab this one and if you notice I can take this object and I can rotate it and now I will go ahead and put it in this area. But if you compare it to the last design, you'll notice that the circle was a lot smaller and also longer. So that's pretty easy because I click on the object, I go to the top left here, click on the settings, and now I will actually shrink the, uh, the thickness of the object. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and apply color to it. So here we go. I'll go ahead and extend this a little bit and I want to go ahead and add another um, object for down here and this one I will go ahead and grab this one and this one is shaping the wrong way uh, so how do I do that? I can flip any object in VisMe so I click flip and I will do a horizontal flip and maybe I'll even do a vertical flip and let me go ahead and change the color on this so that we can uh, improve the that it can be more obvious to see. So let's go ahead and change the color. There it is. So this one I'm going to go ahead and move it over here and extend it a little bit more. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put a um, object here, a shape here and with a circle. So I'll go to my shapes in this location. I will go ahead to the shapes panel, scroll down, find the one I want. Let's go with a simple uh, circle. Again, the color doesn't match, that's okay. I will click on the top left here and match the color that I, that I want to have. And let's go ahead and deal with the bottom here. And here I want to put an icon. So there's actually two icons I want to put, one for the weatherproof and another one for the iPad. So I can search for those icons. I will go ahead and just put in weather. And down here, I will scroll down and find uh, the icon that best resembles that. So let's go down and we'll grab, let's say, this one right here. And the colors don't match, and that's okay because every object, as I mentioned, you can change the color. So I click that, I will go ahead and pick my own colors. So I'll do the white, and also on this one, I'll go ahead and grab a blue. I will size it down. There it is and I want to grab an iPad. I want to show you a little trick. As you use objects, they actually go into the recently used. So because I used in this design, in this last design here, right, I had used this object, well, I can actually go ahead and reuse it again because it's sitting here in my recently used objects. The system remembers what I used last. So you can keep using those objects. And I'll just go ahead and just apply my color to it, okay? So now, the next thing I want to do is I want to have a representation of width. So I will go back to my shapes, all shapes and lines, and I will go ahead and grab this. Uh, let's look for something else. How about we grab, actually, let's grab this one, even though that's different than the last design. 
that's okay. So I will grab this and I will shrink it. I will move it up here. So this is supposed to indicate a uh, width in essence. I will go back to the settings and I will change the color in this case to a white and also I will reduce the, the thickness of it. So there it is. Okay. And last but not least, what I want to do is have a divider line here. So let me zoom out and so we have some content here and we want to have a little bit of a separation because this is one section. Uh, this is all one section and also I want to have a subtle divider line. So how do we do that? Let's go back to the lines. I will look for a thin line such as this. So I'll put that in. If you notice, of course, it's a different color, different thickness. That's okay. I will size it. I will rotate it. So there's the rotation and it's the wrong color. Let's go ahead and actually show you a trick. I will go and grab a very light color and also I will make it thinner. So let's go down to much thinner, let's say two pixels, okay? And it's very bright though, so that's okay. I go to effect, and I will reduce the color just enough where it's very subtle. So if we zoom out and we can compare it to the last design that we did, this is a very similar match, okay? And this is how you can actually use shapes and icons and lines in Visme and to create some really cool and neat designs.